Ever felt like you were constantly walking on eggshells, especially when it came to sharing your ideas or creations? How does constant criticism affect a child's self-esteem? What psychological impacts stem from parental disapproval? Can a creative spark be reignited after years of doubt? It's like you're crafting a ship in a bottle, but every comment feels like a hammer to the glass. So here's the lowdown. You're young, full of dreams and messy sketches. Everything's fine until your attempts to express yourself creatively are met with a barrage of critiques. Hold up, oh, was that supposed to be a puppy? Yikes. So every time you try to put a piece of yourself out there, it feels like it's under a microscope, scrutinized and never quite good enough. This isn't just about not meeting expectations. It's about consistently being told, in not so many words, that your way of seeing the world is, essentially, wrong. Were all my ideas this bad becomes a regular thought. And let's be honest, that's a heavy load for anyone to carry, let alone a kid. But then, as you grow older, this pattern of thinking doesn't just evaporate. It festers. It's not about a single drawing or song anymore. It's about every choice you make. Is this the right career move? What if I fail? Suddenly, you realize the root of it all isn't about the choices themselves, but a deep-seated fear of disapproval that's been cultivated since childhood. Listen, recognizing this is like turning on a light in a room that's been dark for too long. Except, here's where it gets interesting. This realization, it's both a gut punch and a wake-up call. You start to see the dots connecting, forming a picture of why you're always bracing for the worst-case scenario. It's not because you're pessimistic by nature, it's because you were taught to be your own toughest critic under the guise of preparing for the real world. And by dots connecting, I mean you're starting to understand that this constant state of self-doubt isn't just a series of personal failures or missteps. It's a learned response to an environment that didn't know how to nurture your creativity without smothering it with realism and practicality. Then the moment comes when you grasp that the overwhelming drive to plan for disaster isn't a flaw in your character. It's a survival mechanism honed from years of trying to protect your creative spark from being extinguished. And let's be real, the irony is that same critical voice intended to shield you from the world's harshness can also blind you to your own potential. The realization is bitter, yet liberating. It's understanding that while the scars from constant criticism might shape you, they don't have to define you. And that, my dear friend, is where we start to turn the mother plucking page. So now you might be thinking, what comes after the realization? How do I move forward? Dare to stick around because that's the adventure we're tackling next in navigating from realization to recovery. Because let's be real, understanding the root of the issue is just the beginning. The real challenge lies in learning how to bloom in spite of it.